We see a lot of overlap between informal sector innovations and the maker movement. In fact, in our study for South Africa, we, we explored the extent to which makers engage with grassroots innovators. We found that uh, this is a, a, a practice that many collectives are engaged in. The character of a maker is really someone who um, has uh, um, a certain idea in mind and, and what, what the maker space allows them to do is it allows them to um, tinker and, 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 and actually put parts together and figure out what works and what doesn't. And ultimately what, what they're able to do is is uh, create something uh, really unique. We run a pilot project by putting together like really informal individuals from various uh, areas in South Africa with technology within the maker's lab. If, if you don't have everything at your disposal, you figure out how to do it with what you have. We need to find ways to solve problems. We need to find the path of least resistance because either we don't have resources or we don't have the time or we're, um, we don't agree with the way it's being done formally. And the, what is most important for me is to see how the makers also place the, their knowledge and their innovation towards addressing some of the most pressing challenges that we have on the continent. How do innovators and entrepreneurs in the informal economy uh, create livelihoods out of their ideas and their inventions. But we firmly believe that Africa has things to teach the rest of the world about how innovation happens and how to make it work. And so it's not about learnings for Africa, it's rather learnings from Africa to the rest of the world. <laughs>